Hi hey everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. So this is just going to be a little update on my last video. So I did a case review and then I briefly just showed you the fan hub. Only you did discover later on. I really should have taken it out of the package and give you a little bit better look at what that fan slash addressable RGB hub actually is. So I'm going to show that to you. Maybe I'll do this as a short, I don't know, I haven't done any shorts yet. But uh, we'll have a look at it and I'll explain a little bit about it. And it'll just add to the reason why you might want to get this case. So this was the Armory case. And I believe it was a C802. Anyway, it'll be in the title. So let's have a quick look. All right, so this is the case that I reviewed previously. But what I didn't show you is um, a really good look at the fan hub with the addressable RGB. So I want to show you that right here now. Okay, so here's the hub. So I had mentioned that it plugged in, okay, using SATA, all right, from your power supply, and had fans where you could plug them all in. What I didn't realize is it has addressable RGB connectors as well. All right, so I just want to show you that here better. So you have one, two, three, and you also have four, five, and six on the other side. So we have addressable RGB plus your fans all going into this and then powered with the addressable RGB to the motherboard. So when you put all of that together, along with your um, remote, which I thought was a really cool feature that I should have showed you on the previous video, I didn't want you to miss out on knowing this. So one more thing I just want to mention as well is you've got your fans, okay? So you've got your fans in the front. If you add one in the back, your hub is still going to accommodate up to six addressable RGB fans. And then you only have to plug in the one addressable RGB to your motherboard and everything is good to go. So if you're holding back on this case, think about that. So when you put your addressable RGB fans together with your hub, and your remote, which changes everything really when you think about it. When you can remote and change all your colors, everything like that, you don't have to be dependent on software or any of that stuff. It'll just do whatever you want it to do based on the colors that are on here. So just to give you a little thing here, so you have your on off, automatic, you have your different colors, and of course you can brighten and darken them as you wish. All right, and there's even one here to go right to, to the motherboard. So once you've done that, at that point, you can control it using the motherboard if you wish to do that. And that's what most people do, but I don't know, having the remote is just a cool feature. Tell me what you think. All right, so I wanted to make sure I brought that to you so you didn't miss out on anything uh, in terms of what that case is capable of. And I don't know, I just like the idea of a remote control to do all the RGB, addressable RGB colors. So you can make them whatever color you want, or whatever mode you want. That's what the M key was. Your different modes, so like different cycles, breathing, life cycle, all that kind of stuff. It's all there. So you've got multiple options. You've got the button on the case itself, you've got the remote, and then if you want, you can run it from the motherboard. You have all three options. So that's something I haven't seen before. So anyway, if you like the video, hit that like, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications for future videos. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Bye-bye.